Hello everybody, my name's Alpha, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. It's time to go to Castle Oblivion, the floor of Castle Oblivion, and take on Ansem. Now obviously since this is Castle Oblivion, I will have the same deck that I get have whenever I fight someone between floors. Which is awesome, because that's probably the best deck Riku gets. Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Why in such a hurry? I'll be here at the very heart of darkness. Watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. Okay, <laughs> uh, beginnings. So quick look at what the It's only two extra rooms. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. That's gonna see that's gonna be so easy to go through. Yeah, I believe this is the same loadout. I didn't get a card from Riku, did I? Nope. Okay, so just a little look. Hi, Neo Shadow! A little look at what I can do here. Professor Riku? Record Keeper Riku? What am I getting these for? Okay, so yeah, just from these guys being, uh, so stocky, I am very obviously going to have to have a lot of fighting to do, even if I do small rooms. So, I'm just going to be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did Marshall, I cleared out the unknown room, used Marshall waking on the next room. I got two more levels. One went to health, one went to attack, and I got an achievement for the attack one, hard hitter. I think that means I've reached the limit of how much Riku's level can, uh, attack can be leveled. But now, it's time to take on Ansem. I still got one random joker to spare. Just one joker that I never used. I smell you, Ansem. Show yourself. I have watched you fight. I know your strength. Your skill with darkness has grown. It has become more mature. And yet, why? Why do you accept the darkness? But still refuse me. You know you and I are similar. We both follow where the darkness leads. Indeed, we are the same. So why? Does some part of your heart still have a fear of the dark? That's not it. The truth is... I just can't stand your foul stench. You are a fool. You 
should know my powers well by now. Yeah, I know. Or did you forget? I used all the power you had to give, and Sora still beat me. I'm not at all impressed with your powers. <laughs> Very well. In that case, you shall sink into the abyss! Remembered a very important aspect of this fight. Oh no, never mind. I'm. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I forgot. I was gonna say I just remembered. I'm supposed to be on my own, so Mickey's not here. But Mickey was there. He showed up late, and then I screwed things up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So be back when I win. really no strategy to this it's just take everything you've learned throughout the game and just use it This is the end. This is hardly the end. 
end! Your darkness. I gave it all to you. My dark shadow lingers. Someday, someday, I will return! But you don't mind getting a little help, do ya? Overcoming the darkness! So, Riku, what happens next? Are you going home? I can't go home. Not yet. It's still here. It's really faint, but I can sense him. So, I think his darkness may still have a hold on me. Your darkness belongs to you, just the same way your light does. Up till now, I thought darkness was something that should never exist. Then, I spent time with you and changed my mind. The road you chose, I didn't know. Light and dark, back to back. With you, I think they might meet in a way nobody's seen before. Wonder where that road leads. I'd like to see myself. I'd like to walk the road with you. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm really flattered. I don't know what to say. Gosh, Riku, you know you don't have to call me that now. We're pals. Fair enough, Mickey. <laughs> He's probably one of the few people who get the privilege of calling him Mickey. And now they're wearing those cloaks. What are you making me choose now? Between the road to light and the road to darkness. Neither suits me. I'm taking the middle road. Do you mean the twilight road to nightfall? No. It's the road to dawn. Hello everybody, my name's Alpha, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. It's time to go to Castle Oblivion, the floor of Castle Oblivion, and take on Ansem. Now obviously since this is Castle Oblivion, I will have the same deck that I get, have whenever I fight someone between floors. Which is awesome, because that's probably the best deck Riku gets. <laughs> Why in such a hurry? I'll be here at the very heart of darkness, watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. Okay, <laughs> uh, beginnings. So quick look at what the It's only two extra rooms. 
Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. That's gonna... See, that's gonna be so easy to go through. Yeah, I believe this is the same loadout. I didn't get a card from Riku, did I? Nope. Okay, so just a little look. Hi, Neo Shadow! A look at what I can do here. Take this. Like it. Okay, Take Professor it. Riku. Record keeper Riku. What am I getting these for? Okay, so yeah, just from these guys being, uh, so stocky, I am very obviously going to have to have a lot of fighting to do, even if I do small rooms. So, I'm just going to be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did Marshall, I cleared out the unknown room, used Marshall waking on the next room. I got two more levels. One went to health, one went to attack, and I got an achievement for the attack one, hard hitter. I think that means I've reached the limit of how much Riku's level can, uh, attack can be leveled. But now, it's time to take on Ansem. I still got one random joker to spare. Just one joker that I never used. I smell you, Ansem. Show yourself. I have watched you fight. I know your strength. Your skill with darkness has grown. It has become more mature. And yet, why? Why do you accept the darkness? But still refuse me. You know you and I are similar. We both follow where the darkness leads. Indeed, we are the same. So why? Does some part of your heart still have a fear of the dark? That's not it. The truth is... I just can't stand your foul stench. Which is gonna be next. I'm not gonna play it today, but it's the next game. But this is still a very good game. Twilight Town. Beyond the path without you is a forgotten promise to keep. We may have walked side by side, but now we go on back to back. And though our paths may not cross, all paths are connected somewhere. When I arrive at where you are, we may not appear to be as we were. But we'll make another promise to keep. I tell you what, I am not looking forward to... I I, I'm not looking forward to playing 358 half days just because the amount of feels in that game is insane. So proud mode, 100% report, report covered. That must be what it was. Because I one of the rooms I did in Twilight Town uh, was actually the, bla the Black Mushroom room. So I did fight a couple of those, so I guess everything was filled out. I guess if I went back to Sora and did a white and dark room, then everything would be been filled. Defeated, that's a lot. Rapid breaks, that's a lot. 
Card duels won, 75% of them. Dark mode activated 330 times, really? And that only took me 13 hours and 12 minutes. Now obviously this was much shorter than in Sora. Like, there was no, there's very little story within the act, there's almost no story at all in the actual worlds. It was all just go to the next, go to the uh, boss, fight, move on. Most of the story was in between the levels. With the exception being with Twilight Town and Hollow Bash. That's the ones where there was extra stuff. But that's all there is to that. Clear data can be saved. Let me start from the last battle. So do that. So there. That's done. That's the game, completely done. Oh look, I can watch the theater. I can watch everything. But that's all there is to it. That was Kingdom Hearts Reaching Memories. So yeah, that's done. Now next on the list is 358 Half Days. But that's just because that that was the game bundled with Chain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts in the 1.5 remix. These are in this order because these are what were bundled together in the 2.5. But the next game is going to be Kingdom Hearts 2. After that it's going to be 358 Half Days then Recoded, and then Birth by Sleep Final Mix. And then I'm going to jump onto the 2.8 and do Dream Drop Distance, which was a fun one. And Jesus Christ, does that open up a lot of stuff as far as story is concerned. So, I am ex I'm going to be playing this in two days. Two days from me recording it. So by the time I get to posting this, I'm going to be have started and made a good bit of distance made a good bit of progress within the game. But I am so looking forward to this. And then after that, the next game that I most look forward to playing again is Birth by Sleep. Because, in my opinion, with how things are so far, the three, my three favorite Kingdom Hearts games in the series is number one, Kingdom Hearts 2, number two, Birth by Sleep. And then number three is Dream Drop Distance. So yeah, after I after I beat two, I'm gonna try and get through 358 half days and recode as fast as I can so I can get to birth by sleep. But the next thing is Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So this has been the end of Rechain of Memories. Both Sora and Riku's sides of the story. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing this. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Later.